you're dead. What to do with the today? We got a Jimmy G. And hey, don't worry about the shirt. It's a workout shirt. Gotta get back into shape, you know? Anyway, today we're gonna be going to Jimmy G and see what we can do with our characters, specifically, um, Zeno. I want to see how far he actually do in a GVG setting because I know in RTA he's really good because he's 275, right? I do have a video clip of Zeno actually pop it off and I was actually surprised by the fact that Mana Butterfly is not a hard once per turn. It's, it's whatever you get hit, right? I don't know if it stacks or I just got lucky that at uh, back to back, but I never see Manly Butterfly pop off so many times. So I'm going to uh, show the clip and, uh, and we're going to look at this build real quick. If you wish to die. The fun ends here. You dare what? stop me? May you be punished. Gotta do the combo, the pyro, oh, baby. Damn, Zeno was actually really close. <laughs> Keep wailing. We'll see if we get that, uh... Silence. I'll deal with this. We did get the silence. Let's see if we can stun Ravi. I'll defeat you by any means necessary. Do that Elvis? I just single target attack and apparently we got the stun on here. With oh my god, Man of the Butterfly is popping. Wait, what is happening? Your life wait, Man of the Butterfly, wait, it can go off multiple times? I have never seen that before. I did not think Mana wait. That's actually That's actually spicy news. Yo, I've never seen Zeno pop off like that, dude. It took three turns. So I'm assuming they stack on top of each other, so until you get your turn. Yo, I got an idea. If that's how that works, I'm about to build four mandolin butterflies. No speed on all my characters. Effect res, defense, HP, attack. That's it. Everything else but it'll require a lot of stats and a lot of good gear. But when they take their turn, oh boy, are they going to take their turn. Somebody, I need a Christy to give the rest of my team effect res, the person in the back effect res. And then I need the other two to have effect res so they don't get murdered. Alright, this is the current Zeno. He's pretty bulky for 272. He has almost 3k attack. I did. I actually did try him as a, a full bruiser with the whole 390 crit damage, 100% crit chance and like 20k uh, HP. He doesn't do a lot of damage. <laughs> like, regardless of what you think, even if uh, he got full stacks, I did I did try it out. Full stacks of his S2 passive, right, for the Agent Beast damage. He doesn't do that much damage. Probably like 11k or 12k, but it, I don't see him as a damage dealer. I see him as kind of a, a disruptor, a disruptor, right? That that has uh, survivability outside of just using Shark, which I do like this in a lot of situations, right? He, if he goes first or he actually gets his S3 off and signs the enemy team, then they can't really uh, use their S3s and ruin my team, right? And there's a lot of non-attack users in the game right now, like C. Lilius, um, uh, AOL, Rand, you know, you know, you know, I just, right? Then he will get bulkier and then get increased effectiveness, so... Which is pretty dope, right? But anyway, let's get into Jimmy G. All right, game number one. We got Vivian, Dillabat, and BBK. Because I don't use these three characters as much besides BBK, right? BBK is looking like a snack, and I'm pretty sure she will be able to get through this unless uh, Dizzy is just the queen of counterattacking and crowns the king of just running my team over. Nothing to say about BBK, right? 4K attack, 100% crit chance, and... Uh, 292 crit damage, but she slows dirt, but that's fine because she's gonna revisit it and she has uh Shepherd Chaos. Where she get a buttload of defense stack with her passive where she get more defense when she's low, so uh she might be hitting for like I mean she might be hit for like 200 damage or stuff like that if they're not careful. And about we got I know Zeno and uh, Sorella. Because we need those three to get completely get wrecked or Charles will wreck my team. We haven't seen a Charles in a while. I, it makes me really want to build my Charles though though. Forbidden so we're gonna do this. We're gonna do S3. Oh, he might not be geared. Let's hope for the you best, right? Try a little but it seems like his crown is uh. Who's that guy? His RB is geared. Well, I kind of did want to have this thing called uh, HP and a Vivian, but I guess we won't. Only when all are dead will this end. I don't have a soap. Oh, we do have an attack buff, though. 
Where'd you get that attack buff from? <laughs> no one can escape. Let's we'll see if we can get rid of him. I actually don't know where I got that attack buff from. <laughs> Let me think about that. Oh, Vivian. I was like, I forgot. Damn. Damn. I literally forgot about Vivian after she died, by the way. I feel kind of bad for my girl. She been through a lot, the side story, the everything, but easy kind, and I just instantly forgot about her. Oh wow, don't stop me. Ilio Violet. Oh, Dillabat's gonna die. Unless we get rid of the... everybody else. Shelburne does absolutely nothing besides silence, so we're just gonna beat him up and hope that she's dead. Well, BBK can do this. It doesn't really matter. We have like, literally a 200 units to get through. No one can escape. Even I would like to use them again for later. <laughs> Damn, we might be going through this uh, GVG pretty quickly. All shall kneel I like me. This is the one team that has like immunity out the wazoo. We're gonna be hitting this because I'm not gonna get hit Elbers by something right stupid. Mm. Too late to run now. Let's see. So. So we're gonna try for a cheeky, what's this called? Thirty percent for a reset. Trust so the EE allows me to reset my uh, S two. We didn't get it, but she did get counterattack and got crit. Okay, and she got crit again. That's the good old. Tra That's the Charles that I know, right? So she is dead because we tried for a thirty percent and we lost. Keep wailing. Oh yeah, we got an Elbrus. Damn, dude. The luck of the draw, right? Like, I expected for an ice shooter, but Zeno is actually pretty bulky, as you can tell. I don't think we're gonna be winning this with Zeno because, one, the Charles is a goddamn RNG machine. Yeah, we lost on both of them. <laughs> Damn, dude. Who'd have thought 30% and then a 20% after? <laughs> Alright, game number two. We got Bad Cat. Uh, Shu and then Akatis versus his top team, which is I don't I don't know what his damage. At least unless that Politis is just full on damage, I I don't I don't really know what his damage is. But I'm interested to see. You know, it's never hard to see. I never seen a full full damage Politis. He might be squishy. Might be easy to get rid of. Or she could be a, the most tankiest thing in a bruiser. And then by the way, we got uh, Celine, Sinya, and then Dark Corvus versus this team of uh, No Fun Allowed. Anyway, we'll get back to the game. I find it funny that Zeno died to a Charles. It made it so long <laughs> that since I seen Charles. But damn, I didn't expect him to get murdered. Well, I didn't stop it in time, but oh well. It doesn't really matter. So take HP. She's faster than Shu, which is uh, around 210, 220-ish. So I'm going to do this for Shu. I mean, for everybody, actually. The anti-crate might be... Pretty good for stopping my team from getting destroyed. That barrier is thick. Damn, we didn't even break the barrier. So we're gonna do this, even though it's on the minus one turn, cool everything, but uh at least she's not blind and redirect provoke and whatnot. We might as well just take the the hit now. Cool she resisted it. No. I mean at least backhand would do the S1 thing. And hopefully knock off and stun. The, time has the rest of the team. Unless we get a 40% counter. Which I think she's fell asleep, by the way. Oh, okay. My luck is just bad. Okay, her counter is better. Let's get rid of this thing. Or try to. Give me S2. Oh, she can do it if she's stunned, by the way. I will have to do this for her. In all honesty. They're trying to beat up a Katis, which they will probably succeed in beating up. I won't fall. We'll be done before you know it. Uh, let's so burn this. With increased crit damage. Oh yeah, she's dead. Everyone, I'll save you. Okay, let's see if we can get rid of this. Dude, having her minus attack, but also this this attack buff and defense buff is kind of strong. Because it's up all the time. I don't think we can save it right now. Unless she just start popping off. I don't like that, but she's gonna die. <laughs> yeah, the free attack buff is too much. If it wasn't an attack buff, I'm pretty sure she still would survive a little bit longer. But we are not in the situation where we could possibly have enough units to deal with attack down. I mean, attack up and a defense up. I will so burn this. Maybe, yeah. 
God damn. 31 KHP. FCC. I don't think she... It was mainly the barrier, right? The barrier just kept getting in the way. Alright, what's this game 2 looking about? She, I knew she was going to go first. We said my Dark Horse cooled out for like 20 turns, I think. He's like 50 turns now. So I'm going to hit somebody completely random. Don't know. Hit the key say That's actually amazing. Uh, we're going to slap her because we want her to choose besides Kisei or her to come back to life. And now we just punch her. I don't know who's going to come back to life. <laughs> I find it funny that Kisei got murdered while stealth. I love the random S2 for Selene because it works. It can work out of your favor. Alright, we're going to do this. We'll see if we get a blind for the Kisei because apparently... I think she missed everybody, right? I don't know. Okay, we did get the blind sick. See, we got to provoke. Cool. Boom, boom, boom. Yo, Sigga is so reliable. Damn. My girl is stacked over here. <laughs> stacked as in she just slapped her over the face. Ah! <laughs> Oh my god, she is popping off right now. Enemies approaching. I don't know if we're looking to provoke because our uh, effectiveness is pretty low. Me again? But she is on a heals. And I will punish wait, can Dark Cobras not go below a certain uh, threshold? Are you ready? Or did he just get it back in time? No, he got hit twice, didn't he? By Kisei, and he got like three turns minus reduced reduction. Uh, maybe I learned something today where he can't get reduced lower than nine. Well, it makes sense because it'd be ridiculous. No, because skills that you're like four turn cooldowns, you go up to five. You hit him with a minus turn two. Maybe Dark Corps have an innate thing where he can't get go below nine, or maybe like maybe nine uh, cooldown is the max cooldown you can get on the character. Game number three, last game. We're gonna bring Hawaii, uh, Lydica, and Pyro. The thing is, I actually want to test out Lydica because I want to look at her gear. I kind of want to make it like another fashion that's like at least 260 speed. Because I do, I love Lydica design. I think I say this multiple times, very, very like a lot of videos. I love her design. I think it's a, like her design looks pretty cool, like the whip and the little the thing like that. Looks pretty sick. I like Lydica. But she's hardly ever used. But she's like 243 speed right now. Her gear is all over the place. She's not even full 90. He has like uh, a water gun from a long time ago. A helmet without any speed on it, and a chest piece with a uh, 15 speed. I just got a necklace, uh, crit chance with a 14 speed. Yeah. She was my, she, like, when Basar was around before they gave us, like, Euphony and stuff like that, she was my Basar counter, pretty much, back in the day. And now she just don't get played anymore, obviously, because, uh, everybody else does her job better, right? Strip two buffs, you got Pyra for that. Well, strip one buffs, pretty much, this is because of the EE. Sure, one buzz, that's because the Pyra does a little bit better job, and she doesn't, you know, debuff, and, um, what's it called? Restrict, and her S3 is pretty good. I think the best thing about look is the S3, but we'll see. We're just here to test her out, see what she can do against certain uh, units. I said about that, and by the way, we got, um, uh, Emilceria, Kawazu, and Arata. I don't know what else to bring to that, but it doesn't matter. It's about Lydica right now. Because we already see what Zeno could do. Now we can see what uh, Lydica could do. Alright, so all is kind of slowish. We get get the restrict. We are gonna go next, but I do want that attack. I'll do with that attack buff. I'm hoping that we don't get stunned, right? It's like, I always think they're all max uh, Elbrus. Well, not max Elbrus, but max. Uh, Stun. Are you my next so we didn't get stunned. So I'm gonna kick this uh, a rap and see how much we do with 12k HP. On top of how about an attack, but I don't think it's gonna kill. Because we're in like high HP, I lied, I killed. <laughs> I lied, I ki that killed. So we're gonna send her back. Hopefully she does 15%. I lied. I forgot about that 15%. <laughs> I forgot about that. So why does he hit Lydica as a fire unit? Like oh, because we're both in stealth. Humans are true no. Foolish. At lowest HP, I forgot. Hawaiian had a huge barrier full HP. Alright, so everything's going wrong, they can go wrong. Should I 
Uh, we're going to kick Violet because we need to kick Violet. We're going to do this because in our last dying breath, he's going to at least drop this. I get counterattack and get crit. Oh no, Lydica. I wanted you to live, but everybody else decided to hide from me. Alright, we're just going to get rid of her. Let's kick her in the face. I think everybody's going to die besides Wyong. Oh. Don't crit me. Okay, he did miss. But can we be a Violet? The answer should be really shocking if we can kill a Violet. <laughs> the answer is always yes, by the way, because Hawaiian is a pretty busted unit. You know, if you don't have her, pick her up. I don't care if the Guilty Gear Glad is like right around the corner or stuff like that. Pick her up! <laughs> She's actually a really great unit. So I'm going to get this. So who goes on first? I think I go on first because faster. No. Yeah. Oh no, we got the bombs on Kawazu. That's the one unit. Uh, it was a it was a thirty percent chance she didn't put on, on either of my DPS units. <laughs> it was a small chance. I was like, maybe it won't go my DPS units, right? It's a it's a small trickle. It won't on both of them. Dude, what is happening? Like my sound is cutting out of everything. <laughs> so I have to go my revive. All right, I'm just ruined apparently. Come on, you have a fifty percent chance to try to get this. Oh my god, she got it off. Move or die. We're gonna take this fifty percent chance. The worst thing, yeah, my sound is cut out. I think the emulator is just overloaded right now. I'm like, oh my god, what is happening? Oh, that worked out, I guess. Ooh, got a stellar heart, too. Oh my god, it's like freezing and pausing. Dude, I'm dropping frames, what? I'm dropping frames every day, yo. This team is so fired that it's killing my, em it's killing my emulator. Going up against someone. Anyway, that was GBG. Like I said, I want to see what Zeta could do with the GBG settings. Unfortunately, he found the Charles that procs whenever he needs to, and then procs S1 and S2. I can't believe we killed Sorella like that. Like, I would understand if we killed Zeno like that, but Sorella that was a fire they crit twice? We already know what Charles I'm already over. I'm already over what Charles could do, right? Charles is a ML5 unit in disguise. I don't know why people stop using him. He works 100% of the time, 100% of the time, right? Anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys around. Peace.